My definition of leadership is the art and science of jointly with people, with all stakeholders, turning energy into equity and then equity back into energy because it has to be a perpetual mobile. It has to be a, an ongoing concern you know, as, as organizations evolve and grow uh, and, and create more value over time. I very often say, you know, a CEO is not the chief executive, he has to be the chief energizer, uh, the chief energy officer. Uh, it de facto means that leadership is transformational. You only get there if you get it right. Because if you don't have people behaving in a consistent way, and that doesn't mean in the same way, but in a consistent way, then it's hard to move a company from you know, the current state to the desired state. Very hard. And if you again think about what, what I went through three times, these are big changes. I mean, when I joined Consumer Electronics at Philips, it was a high volume electronics company. When I left, I think we could say that we were a company, an entertainment company, uh, powered by sound and vision, with the first ingredients of what digital content uh, in the multimedia sense of the word is good for. Uh, if I take the kind of the transform part of my Philips lighting experience as an example, we had 2,500 engineers and about 100 R&D centers all over the world. And if you, if you took the profile of the 2,500 engineers, about 80% of them were like uh, masters in applied physics, you know, you know, lamp technology, traditional lamp technology, incandescent lamp technology, uh, halogen, um, metal halide. I mean, too complicated for me, but they were very smart people. The problem was they were not the right people for the future because they didn't know anything about LED or digital lighting. So in two years time, we went from 2,500, of which 80% call it analog engineers, to 2,000 with 80% digital engineers. That's massive, I can tell you. The change management program around that was huge. Um, because you need to restructure the hell out of it. In a digital environment, you need to move to kind of centers of competence. So we ended up instead of like 100 R&D centers, three big hubs, you know, one in the States, one in Asia, one in Europe, uh, with some satellites, again, competent centers or sub-competent centers. And guess what? That's what transforming meant.